Hi beautiful souls, we hope this message finds you in a space of peace and positivity. Your soul and the universe are asking you to remember. We are all made of energy and everyone and everything on this planet is connected to the universe. As spiritual beings we chose to come here to have the experiences that this life has to offer at this exact point in time. Most of us have lived many many lives before the present one that we are in. Some of us have come down to enlighten others. Before we stepped into this life we knew we were spiritual loving entities connected to Source and that we are eternal. But we don't remember this when we arrive here. Could this be the challenge? To see if we can remember who we are and that we are connected to something greater. There are a lot of people who are now awakening to the fact that there is more to this human form that we have found ourselves in. They are questioning the way of things, the learnings that we have been taught and have always been led to believe that this is the only way to live. More and more people are getting curious and looking for answers and wondering why we just don't seem to fit. Because we have been given free will in this life and there are so many distractions and chaos all around us, we can be led from the path that we are supposed to be on. Is remembering who we are and finding our connection the answer to having a better life? The people in this world that are remembering are now speaking up sharing what they have found. We are all in different stages of ascension. Some will get it quicker than others, but unfortunately, there are those that will go through this life not remembering at all. Some have had tragic moments thrown at them, shaking up their whole belief system, making them look at things in a whole different way. Others are finding guidance from the universe through meditation and other spiritual practices. Now we are starting to hear from channelers and people that have had near-death experiences, trying to guide us with their messages and it doesn't matter how they explain what is coming through from their guides or how people tell their amazing stories of returning back from the other side, the message is clear, it is all about love. They ask us to remember that we are eternal, loving, non-judgmental, compassionate and powerful souls who are connected to higher source energy, the divine God, the universe, whichever higher power you believe it to be. They also share that what we are searching for, the void that we can't seem to fill, comes from inside of us, and we will not find it in the material world no matter how hard we try. Seems to me the universe is giving us a nudge, trying to remind us through these people that we should be living our lives by these universal principles. The thing is, being told something without any physical proof is hard for some to believe. Some find it in meditation and just feel it a deep knowing inside that tells you it's the truth of things. If you are questioning why things don't feel right in your life, maybe it is your soul reaching out or in some cases screaming at you to remember. Do we have to remember who we are to make this journey more pleasurable and fulfilling? If you think about it for a minute, how much better our lives would be if everybody lived by these principles, wouldn't you agree? If things in your life are not making sense anymore, or maybe they never have, try meditating. If you are already doing this regularly, think about asking your guides for help in remembering who you really are. If you have never meditated before or you are struggling to find that peaceful place, try doing it this way. Get yourself a crystal, one specific to meditation or one that you feel drawn to, whether it is the color, shape or just a feeling that attracts you. Clear Quartz is a good crystal for meditating, but there are also others to choose from. Sometimes you just feel a pull towards a specific crystal without knowing why. Trust your intuition and go with it, it is a personal choice. Make this your meditation crystal that only you lay hands on. Sit somewhere that you feel comfortable and hold your crystal in both hands covering it completely. Close your eyes and breathe slowly in and out through your nose and just settle for a minute. Then imagine waves of energy surrounding you. Try and feel the motion of the constant flow. If you have trouble with this, imagine you are in the ocean and how the small waves gently lap all around you. Or picture yourself sitting in the wind feeling the energy at play. Whatever gives you the feeling of motion swirling all around, just sit in the peace and always remember you are safe in this space. Start by thinking of love and the emotions it brings out in you. Then send all that love out into the universe. This then goes into the crystalline grid and not only lifts your vibration but humanity as a whole. 
Let the universe know you are ready to receive all the abundance and reaffirm that you are open and ready to receive. Ask the universe to help you remember who you are. Repeat this a few times and just sit and let the energy flow through and around you. If you lose focus, just go back to seeing the energy, giving out love, repeating you are open to receive, asking for help to remember who you are. You have to do this daily for it to have any impact and the more you do it, the easier it will become to find that loving, blissful state of peace. You don't have to do it for hours, just start off with 10 minutes. If that's all you do each day, that's enough. But you may find yourself increasing the time without even realizing. Could it be that our lives don't get any better until we remember? Is this what the awakening and the big shift is all about? Remembering who we are and that love is the key to everything. I believe this to be true, that we are awesome, perfect, forgiving, full of power and strength and all of the aforementioned things. So keep meditating, asking to remember your true authentic self, the one you know is already there. You just have to feel and make the connection. Even if you are struggling to remember, the awesome thing is you can start living by these universal principles now. No matter who you are or what stage you're at, it will be worth your patience and effort enriching your life as you go forward. We are sending you all the love and positive vibes as you find your way on your spiritual journey. Thanks for watching another Feel Better Within video. We hope you found it insightful and valuable. If you liked what you viewed, please don't forget to share. Give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. That way you'll never miss out on our latest content and updates. We would love to hear from you and value your opinion, so please take a moment to leave a comment below. Until next time, be kind to yourself and others while you keep exploring the powers of the universe.